set this massive open online learning program. Uh, when we initiated the program, we never thought that uh, it would catch up so quickly, that there would be so many people that have an interest in enrolling in it, to gain the confidence of being able to participate and access the skills, but also how practically people are able to learn at a fairly quick rate, the feedback I'm getting is that um, most of the learners here are learning at a very quick rate. They are able to move to the next level of education. This is a platform for access to university education. We've identified it because, in fact, the reality is that the vast majority of young people in our city do want access to an opportunity. But sometimes the opportunities are not always there because you either don't have the resources at your disposal, you try to register at the beginning of the year, the university was full, and or whatever the range of challenges could have been that did not give people direct access. And when we discovered or researched on massive open online colleges uh, and tried to adapt it to the South African situation, we tried to ensure that it becomes relevant to the extent that it creates access to channeling people into job opportunities, channeling people into upgrading their skills to be able to create their own jobs. And we are looking forward to uh, cases of people that come out of this and say, I'm a web designer, I've got the skills, I've got the capability, and you'll be able to slot into any firm that requires those skills. I was talking to the team about how do we link it back into the entire Bulit Lelechos ecosystem. Because as you know, Bulit Lelechos will say, once we want to create opportunities for young people, we want to generate the skills to match them to where the jobs are and where the job opportunities are. So it is important that as you generate the skills, particularly in ICT, we can link you back to the rest of the ecosystem and say there are firms that are looking for these levels of skills, we can be able to channel you to those levels of skills. There are people that require this level of basic education uh, at an ICT level for you to be able to upgrade. I mean, you know we've got partnerships with the SAP, which is a German firm that does, uh, they do in our own uh, uh, system in the city of Johannesburg. We've got a partnership with IBM, with Microsoft and others that are coming on board to say, yes, we would be able to upgrade the skills to meet our own requirements. But it helps when you get there to know that in fact, I've got the basic uh, ICT skills to be able to gain access to these opportunities, to be able to then break through into the market. There are many people that say, sometimes it's not really that South Africa doesn't have the job, sometimes we do not have the skills to match the jobs that are there in the market. We had a discussion with uh, people in logistics and uh, fast, mo fast moving consumer goods, FMCG, last week. So they said to us, well, you know, the average age of a person that is in, in uh, customs, customs clerk and customs managers is 55. The country is not generating people with those skills to be able to gain access to those jobs. So we said to them, through our own massive open online program, we would be able to generate the skills to match people to the jobs that are there in the market. So we have, in terms of the economy, next week we're meeting with the ICT guys, and a lot of them would be saying to us, these are the levels of skills that we require, and these are the sort of people and candidates that we require to meet our own objectives. And I said, we're talking to IBM, and together with them, the media is here. Mm, you can announce it. <laughs> but together with them, we're now talking about setting up an IBM center. Because they are competing with their own IBM counterparts in the world for the best possible skills. So they would want to bring business to South Africa. So they are competing with India, with China, with uh, Bangladesh would do ever. So we're partnering with them to develop the skills at an IBM level that they can say, we've got the skills in South Africa to compete with our counterparts in different parts of the world. So because of the skills that we have, we've got the channels to opportunities for people. And 
are growing that level of skill. I spoke about SAP will be launching something, graduates in the SAP program very soon. So even in the ICT sector, the opportunities. So I'm really saying that for us, it's encouraging that people have said, well, I can stand up, I can, I can go and look for the opportunity. And when I get into the opportunity, I'm going to take advantage of what this presents to me. In many ways, the world becomes an oyster because in reality, as a city together with our partners around there and all the partners that we've got involved in the program, we are ready to massify this program to the extent that you have the number of candidates. In many ways, many people say the biggest problem in South Africa is that we do not have the skills to enable us to go to the next level as a country. Sometimes we talk about unemployment, but we don't talk about the reality that we don't have the skill, skills to address our unemployment. So for us to address it, we have to create the skills. We've got to build the base of people that would be able to participate. The US system said, well, massive open online learning is not working. Uh, most of the graduates are people that are from rich backgrounds because they were the first to do it. But we found that partnering with the right institutions, pro providing the support systems, providing the network opportunities that we can be able to give the necessary support to learners to take advantage of it. We ourselves would want to create more and more opportunities. Um, and it's really up to you. It's really up to you how far you go. There are many people that when we say, yeah, but you can get the uh, Ivy League degree at a library in Jababu, like, ah, <laughs> but, it's, but I think that for those of you who are participating there, you, you realize that the opportunity is actually there. That I can actually get top class education in my own local library. And it is ultimately up to me and the effort I put in. And we are there to provide the support systems in the effort that you put in. Ultimately, massive open online learning is about the effort that you put in. Because it's a computerized system. If you don't run with it, uh, it doesn't necessarily progress. You don't meet the necessary speeds. It kind of can drag you on and on and on and okay. on because you're not putting in enough effort. But if you put in the effort, you'll be able to generate the output. Um, but we're looking forward to being able to come at some point and congratulate uh, people at the graduation ceremony, but most important to congratulate people as they gain entry into the job market. I can go on and on because I'm a bit excited, so I must stop talking. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. There, there are a few hands, so I'm sure we can take a picture. Good morning, Mr. Mayor and everyone here. But on behalf of the students, Mr. Mayor, we are so grateful of to get this opportunity. As you can see, or, or as you know, that we, most of us, most of us, we come from disadvantaged backgrounds. I, for one, is raised by a single parent. So I, I, I went to high school, I finished my metric, I passed with a diploma, but with a, with, a, with a bachelor, excuse me. But my mother didn't have funds for me to go to university, or to, 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 to the university. So I got this opportunity, and today, I am proud to say, I, I know how to use a computer. At first, I, I, I shook when I saw the computer. I would shake and, and don't know what, what, what to say. I didn't even know what, what backspace is. But today, I know what to do or where to start. And we are so grateful. And so, Mr. Mayor, I, I come from uh, Tolsa Park. I walk here every day because I am passionate, because I, I love, I, I want to, to, to go to, to the next level. You know, I want to empower myself. You know, rather than sitting at home and doing nothing. So we are so grateful and we will get this, op this opportunity with both, with, uh, both hands. And we, we, we are hoping with this um, program to put food in our, in our, table, in our, table, in our, in our household tables. Because we are from disadvantaged backgrounds. I mean, in my household, no one is working, you know. But, and I'm here to, 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 to um, 
extend my skills, you know, so that I can so I can have an opportunity to get a job. So we are very grateful and we thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. 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 Thank